Hey guys, good morning. It's like half nine in the morning. Just been to the gym, had a PT session, which was pretty good considering I got no sleep last night. When I say I genuinely think I was awake the whole entire night, I don't know how I'm functioning. I actually had a really good session considering I should have no energy. I had a really good day of food yesterday, which I think helps. Porridge for breakfast with a homemade green smoothie, chicken salad pita bread. Then I had a snack of salad later on, like a really small plate of salad, because I just really fancied it. Honestly, I love salad so much. The reason I love my salad so much at the minute is because they taste like kebab. This sauce is the best sauce you will ever have. It's literally like 50 calories for this much of the container. So I just went to make some yogurt with fruit for breakfast and I went to pick up one of the strawberries and I've never seen such a gone off strawberry. I don't actually know how it is this gone off, but it's the only one out of my box of fruit. So I've washed my other strawberries. I'm actually gonna cut the stems off them now. I got this sieve from Ikea the other day and it's perfect. So I just would put all of my fruit in here, mix it around and then rinse it. And I just feel like it would feel cleaner. Put all my fruits in here. I'm gonna zip that up. Lovely. I also have a smoothie that I just need to finish off. It's it's like a sugar smoothie. You know, one of the innocent smoothies. So it's not like a hundred percent of you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's my breakfast done. Chin chin. Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I hope that you're all okay. Today's Friday. It's a pretty nice day out actually, but I've got no plans for this weekend. In fact, my plans are to just stay in the house. I just need some time to chill. And in fact, Rob is actually also not here this weekend, which I'm secretly buzzing about because I'm gonna get like a whole me time weekend. I think I do realize when I have like just an evening to myself, I'm like, oh, that was blissful. Like I just do girly things and watch my programs that he doesn't enjoy watching and stuff. So I've just come back from London. I went to London on Monday to go and like have a meeting. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, I spent the day with my cousins, my family, my auntie, my like, they're my closest family. I love them so much. And I just had the best time, but I'm exhausted because they don't go to bed till like 2 a.m. every night. <laughs> me i'm in bed by like half 10 11 yeah i was active i was very active so um yeah i came home and i got my wisdom tooth out yesterday i'm actually surprised at how well it's healed already i feel like it's because i didn't mess around with it at all like so yeah that's done which means that i am now on the way to my journey to having braces i do have a couple of things that i've just opened so if you are not interested in any unboxings or anything just like skip maybe the next i don't know a couple of minutes and um, but if you are and you want to see then stay put when i went to see my cousins the other day one of my cousins is an electrician my auntie wanted one of the light fittings changed in her living room so i was going to do that but then he came and saw us and stuff so they were like oh you do it then you're the electrician he pulled out these things called wagos they're called wagos they're cable terminals um, so if you're ever changing a light fitting, they can be really fiddly to use because you normally have to get a tiny, tiny little screwdriver and twist the screw into the wire. They're just so fiddly sometimes. Like you can honestly go from like zero to 100% rage in the space of 20 seconds trying to put a light fitting on because they're just so fiddly. And he was like, oh, these are just like the best way ever to try to put light fittings on. So essentially it's the cable terminal. You can see it at the back there. So you put your cable up through there but instead you just have to like clip these down. So they, I don't know if you can hear that really. Ignore my nails, they're disgusting. I know I need to soak them off today, but that's how they work. So I bought some <laughs> because I know in the future in room transformations and stuff that I'm doing, I'm going to want to use these and they were relatively cheap. I got 10 from Amazon for like four pounds or something. I buy beauty boxes from Look Fantastic every month. I have done for about two years now, probably. Um, and so I've got this month's one and I know some of you guys really like these little unboxings. This is what this looks like. If you are someone that loves trying out new products, this is for you. Rituals, Rituals of Myrrh. I have bought recently nearly the whole range apart from this. I didn't buy the body cream, I bought the body mousse. It's like they knew, it's like they got in my head and knew because this is my favorite scent from uh, Rituals, Rituals of Myrrh. Dr. Botanicals TU mask, which is the turmeric superfood restoring treatment mask. I really like Dr. Botanicals. Dr. Botanicals isn't cheap and it's very good stuff. Uh, this is the Philip Kingsley Bond Builder. This is for your split ends. So apparently every three washes, you're meant to put this in your split ends and it's meant to help. Philo Philorga Oxygen Glow Super Effect perfecting radiance cream always get these small little bottles like and when i say always i'm, I'm kidding you not like here's one that i've got in here always always keep these for when i'm traveling it's so much easier than lugging a big bottle around and then these cute little hair bands i mean 
these probably i will use them but i feel like i'll look like belle you know sleeping no not sleeping beauty what's she beauty and the beast because of the yellow of this it literally looks like her dress so much these are satin soft hair bands so they prevent snagging because they're of the kind of like they're like almost like silk better for your hair and stuff like that is just is such a nice thing to try because you might not think oh i'm not going to waste money on that but when you get it and you're like oh it's here i might as well try it then it's when you see the difference in things and you start appreciating like oh actually i do need to kind of like up my game with some things because they, they actually work but these boxes give you a chance to try them this is the e-cooking brand which i love when i get their stuff this is quite a big bottle this is looks like almost like a full size cleansing gel but it's not too big so again i might bring this when i'm traveling and it's for normal to oily skin gentle cleansing i've just got a little freebie in here this is a two-faced makeup bag they just always seem to hit, like hit the mark like there's never a month when i'm like that box was absolutely just rubbish there's never ever a, a point like that i'm always so excited to receive my boxes but anyway yeah that wasn't promo of any kind i buy this box every single month but i know you guys kind of like looking into them as well so i thought i'd share okay and then the final thing which i wasn't expecting at all and is really really sweet actually a package from dermalogica and they actually have sent this because it was my birthday the other week i sent over two of my absolute fave products i literally just bought a new one of this about three weeks ago so i've got a top up now which is amazing this is the special cleansing gel i do sometimes try different gels but i have noticed that for the last two years i do always come back to this one this is something that i've not tried and i have been really wanting to try something like this the ultimate cleansing brush it looks like you've got an on button and then you've got an increase and a decrease so that's increase and that's decrease so maybe if you're someone that's got a bit more sensitive skin or if you just really need to work on a particular area i'm gonna have a fantastic night do my skincare watching a film what film can i watch you know when you watch a film of a girl having like an evening to herself with wine and she's watching a film i want to watch the sort of film that she's watching i don't know what that is but i will not watch it i might just watch something like mean girls like something that always makes me happy i need to get some stories for the house um i seem to collect so much stuff through my thrift shopping my second home furniture shopping because of the clubs and stuff that i do slash stuff that i will just want to keep for future houses and stuff i've decided i've made the executive very grown-up decision that i need to invest in some storage so i found a local company in newcastle and i will obviously bring you and you can see what sort of stuff well like what what i mean by the storage and like what sort of stuff i'm going to be storing and um i can just have boxes and stuff dedicated in that storage container where it's like if i need it i can go get it otherwise it doesn't need to take up every corner of my house so yeah i will catch up with you guys later if i end up doing that several days later oh my god i'm so out of breath okay we're trying to load up the storage we've actually gotten rid of quite a lot of, of it already it's just a bit manic it still looks really messy there's loads of stuff off the floor which was taking up a lot of room i'm gonna try and get rob to take his golf clubs as well because he literally uses those once every two years i'm gonna take this chair out and then this barbecue is so big but like what if we want to use the barbecue i don't know what to do okay i've pretty much gone through the house and I'm, I'm really hoping I've taken like really big items. I'm just looking around. There's other things that I will sit down and like figure out if I want to keep in the house or if I want to leave um, at the storage. But they're like smaller ones that will fit in my car when I get it back from the service garage. But yeah, I'm just running around now, just double checking that. Everything I want to take to the storage. Oh, I've got all these frames. I could put all of those in the storage, couldn't I? Nah, well, they, they'll fit in my car. So I don't need to do that right now because I'm in a bit of a rush, to be honest. Um, in this room, there's nothing. I think we're done. Is there anything in the airing cupboard? No, nothing crazy. So I think we're done. Let's go to the storage unit. I hope it's nice and I hope it's clean and dry. Okay, we've made it to the place. We're just waiting for the guy to catch up with the van. I think I probably need to go in and like sign, like, sign documents and stuff, but... I'm far too chilly and I feel really tired. Also just got bad news that my car, I thought only one tyre was punctured. It turns out two were. And the first one isn't repairable. I've got free repairs on my tyres with my like car, whatever. But at least one of them isn't repairable. So that means I've got to buy a new tyre. If I'm buying a new tyre from Mercedes, I don't even want to know how much that is. 
I'm waiting on the guy to turn up. I think he was like following behind, but he was like, I need to go grab some lunch. So I was like, yeah, you go grab some lunch. Don't want you lightheaded on the job. To be honest, I need a break, lifting all that stuff. Probably didn't seem very heavy from the video and sped up, but we spent about 40 minutes lifting stuff to and from the garage, like heavy stuff that's been there for so long. But let's go and see what this storage is about. Igloo from the proposal, um, which I love, but we just don't need it in the house because we never use it. Um, and then we've got the dining table, which I took apart and I was actually gonna um, put it back on Facebook Marketplace, but I've decided to keep it because, do you know what I've thought? When it comes to Christmas time, if we do have people in the house, I can come back and grab the, the table and chairs, no problem, just for like literally a day and come put them back. So very, very helpful and very, very clever. Then we've got all of the chairs over here as well. And it feels, even though it's cold, it feels really like watertight. Like you can see from looking around the whole thing that it's like really well sealed. And even the floor, it's just got like our muddy shoe prints on, but it doesn't look like there's water damage or anything. So I'm very happy for like leaving this sort of stuff here. The only problem is I was meant to go to Argos to get a mattress protector for the mattress. I didn't manage to do that. So what I will do is maybe tomorrow I'll go to Argos and I'll come by myself um, and I'll wrap the mattress up. Hopefully it's not too difficult, but there's a lot of room in here. So hopefully by the time we've got everything else in, I'll still have time. I'll still have a room to maneuver around the mattress and wrap it up. So it's like okay to store, you know, cause you can damage mattresses if you don't store them properly. But anyway, let's get back to it. quickly guys because i've got no battery but this is what it all looks like now it's all in we've managed to put the mattress on top of the ottoman so don't need to worry about it on the floor everything else is packed really well and um, i'm going to just keep this as stuff that we just never ever reach for rather than just a dumping ground so i'll come in and clean it every so often like i do with the garage but fingers crossed the next day my teeth hurts so bad so 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 bad we're gonna go out and get fish and chips though <laughs> guys hello um i have just filmed a primark haul for you which i don't know if it's gonna be up before this vlog or not so if you haven't watched it go and watch it because i got all this amazing stuff i love literally all of it um and it was all, all really well priced as well. So also I wanted to show you this because I know a lot of you are actually interested in the kind of fitness stuff that I do. Um, I actually did end up ordering a um, gym wear set from AliExpress. This is what it looks like. I would say this is like yoga pant leggings. It's like doesn't go all the way fully down, but it go, gets pretty far down. And then the waistband of the leggings is like so super thick. I don't know if you can see see it there it's super thick um it's also got that design where it kind of goes around like your round parts to like accentuate them make them look nice like but it's just really thick like i'm really really impressed it's also got these arm bits which um you can put like that which is actually apart from looking like you're like i'm so shy <laughs> apart from that it's actually i think going to be really helpful when you're like deadlifting and stuff because i've started getting those calluses things on like the underneath of my knuckles because I'm a gym girl now um but actually I can protect those delicate bits of skin by like holding that and it's just gonna like um protect it a bit but so impressed but yeah I just thought I'd share that because I was actually really impressed okay guys this is something that I am actually like I can't believe this has happened I got an email the other day from Skims if you don't know it's Kim Kardashian's like clothing brand and I genuinely thought it was fake at first I was like skims they're not gonna want to work with me i'm so confused like this is definitely a fake email i'm gonna get hacked i'm gonna get my youtube shut down and like some stupid stuff turns out it was real probably sounds quite like menial to some of you guys but i know a lot of you will also appreciate it the main reason i love these so much is because one of my favorite influencers i know i go on about her a lot like i fangirl her so much but she is called melissa's wardrobe and she absolutely 
loves some of the skims pieces like i think she's got like the dressing gowns and um, the body suits like the boy shorts the bra like crop top things she loves the range so i was like if it's good enough for melissa's wardrobe it is a good enough for me and she's very real and honest when it comes to what is worth it and what isn't like she is just cutthroat with some things and if she likes something you better jump on it because it will sell out like that and you want to follow someone else is Aaliyah's face um she also loves a bit of skims so anyway i was just really super proud of myself because i was kind of like just like you've gotten to yourself to a point where like skims are actually reaching out to you and you stan Aaliyah's face and melissa's wardrobe they love skim stuff so like just a little bit of a pat on the back for me. But anyway, what am I going on about this for? So I opened the box and I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, it's real. I've got the cozy knit tank in the color bone in small medium, the cozy knit pant in the color bone, small medium, and then the cozy knit short robe in the color bone, small medium. Should we try them on? Let's try them on. <laughs> Guys, look. Oh my God, I'm so cozy. <laughs> I'm so cozy, I'm so cozy. So I've basically got on three pieces. So this is the top, the knit top that I said. I really like it because I'm not a huge fan of everything being low cut all the time. This actually sits quite high. So I've got the bottoms which look like this. Um, they have got like quite a tight band in the middle, which I didn't expect. I thought it would kind of like not fit so nice because it would just kind of just be there. But the band seems to have some elastic in it, which I think is the difference between Skims versus maybe some other brands that maybe try to like dupe it. The only thing I want to say is I'm not sure actually no I do I was gonna say I'm not sure if I love the bottoms on me because I don't have the most like hourglass figure but actually I don't hate them they're not they don't make you look bad that's the only thing with some trousers I put them on and that they make me look like I'm just like I hate these trousers take them off they don't make me look bad and they're a very long good length as well like these come all the way down to my heels I think they do a longer version length um, and then this is the short one so you can either have it just like this, like kind of just like an open coat. Or it comes with the um, middle tie. Ah, look, I'm just like a cozy little bar bar lamb. I look adorable. Between like my legs brushing on the, I can't explain this feeling. I can't explain this feeling. I feel like I'm doing a lot right now, but I need you to, I wish you were here and you could try this on. The only thing that I would say is, this will probably come over time. There seem to be a few little bits of like excess wool where I can like kind of pull and then it, it comes out. I mean, for autumn, winter, it's adorable. Hey guys, so I was just about to start cleaning my um, bathroom without you, because I always do stuff like that. And then I thought, let me go get my pals and let's clean up together. I've sprayed this multi-purpose spray by Raindrop Cleans around everywhere. I'm gonna do another light layer. Kind of like leave it to sit for five minutes. Apparently that's what you're meant to do with cleaners. Sorry, I thought YouTube wanted to cut that off. But yeah, basically what you're meant to do is you're meant to spray whatever you're going to clean, spray it five minutes prior and then when you come to clean it, it's meant to have like um, loosened up all of the crap basically. So I'm just spraying it all over everything. And this is like a environmentally friendly company, Raindrop. I think you would have seen them in a vlog before. But I love the bottles, they're really good and the spray nozzle is very good on them. When I finish cleaning it, I'm gonna spray everything over with the Dettol all in one, just to kill any bacteria that's there. Um, I brought this upstairs in case I need to pop it in any of the sinks, toilets, uh, bath, or if I need to top this up. And I also brought this because I've got a dedicated one for the bathroom, which I'll just keep down the side. So now I'm gonna clean the whole bathtub. Um, I'm just gonna wet this first before I wet all the walls. And then I'm just gonna literally wash down all the walls. Sif. Just a good spray. Some of these bits as well. I normally have a toothbrush as well. Just a random old toothbrush. And I use that to scrub. <laughs> this is what I've started now. You know when you're meant to do like a light cleaning and then you just start getting deep clean, deep clean mode. That's me right now. These sponges are great by the way. They're the sponge, like the brand's called S-P-H-O-N-G-E, sponge like that. They're fantastic sponges, they like hold so much water. Basically, you wipe everything down, then rinse it all down, just to make sure I've got all of the like sift 
bleach and stuff off the side, especially like, because tonight I'll probably have a bath, but I want to make sure there's no bleach and stuff in there. Earthing. Huh? I will get in the shower in a second and clean the window, but for now, I'll clean this side. Just do the same thing, but I would actually normally use um, white vinegar spray to do this part, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna let this antibacterial spray sit for a bit. At this point as well, I've normally got quite a lot of water on the floor, so I'm gonna wipe that all up. I'm gonna now move on to like the sides, clean up all the sides, clean the sink, clean the toilet. Does anyone else pop to the shops for one thing and end up buying the entire store? Cause me too, bro. Hi guys. I have just been to the shops and I was literally meant to buy white vinegar spray, bicarb soda, some milk and some curly whirlies for Rob. And then I don't know what it is about B&M, but <laughs> there's like a running joke, isn't there, on the internet that like, you don't go to B&M and tell you what you want, tell you, tell it what you want. When you get to B&M, B&M tells you what you need. <laughs> it is genuinely stuff that I needed in the house. Like I took a good while going down the cleaning aisles. That's the only place that I went. There's no like fun candles or accessories in here. It's all cleaning products. If you're a clean freak or if you um, need some inspo of some new cleaning products and hacks and stuff, then stay tuned. First thing, let's do this. I've already opened it because I've put some in the downstairs loo, but these are some toilet rolls. Now the reason I'm showing that is because I feel like toilet roll tissue is so hard to judge. Unless you're getting the Andrex, the Cashel, like it's hard to judge what the cheaper ones, if they're worth it. This stuff, now that I've opened it, it's not too bad, but it's not the softest. Like it does feel like it's a little bit hard and crispy, but you know what? It's for one use only, so it doesn't matter. That entire thing was only five pounds. There's 24 in there. Okay, sorry if this is a bit overexposed, this picture. But just this one mega jumbo kitchen towel. We never have kitchen roll, ever. And it's so handy. Daz all in one pods for whites and colors, bright cleaning. I have never tried these ones before, I don't think. I'm, I prefer a pod to a liquid, like a gel, you know, you like gel them and powders. I prefer the pods because you can literally just like grab them, throw them in the bottom, chuck all your other stuff in and it's easy. Color catches, I love them. I do usually either get these or the Dr. Beckman's. I've never known the difference between them. Like I've never thought that the Dr. Beckman's are more so better than these. I don't put different colors in, like I won't put red with a white, but if you did, this is supposed to catch most of the dye. So it like prevents leaks and stuff like that. But I just find these so helpful. I always get those. That was like £1.50. The Lenore Outdoorables as if dried outside. I love this stuff. Um, I actually worked with them on a campaign a few months ago and that was when I was first introduced but I always, always buy it when I'm in the shops. Um, this one and the orange one are my favourite one. The reason it's called Outdoorables is because obviously now I'm moving into winter. It's raining a lot here in the UK so we can't really dry our clothes outside. So this is a fabric conditioner but it makes, it's got some weird technology in it and I genuinely swear to God it actually works. It makes your clothes smell like they've been dried outside in the sun. So I always pick that up. Up. and um, I also got these which are the unstoppables in scent uh, in wash suit but hello I also got these these are the in wash scent boosters um, these aren't the same scent which because they didn't have them in BNM for some reason they don't have like the full families in stores which I don't understand really but these are also just as nice these are the fresh ones that was about three pounds and the adorables was about three pounds as well and they actually last a pretty long time the reason I went in was for this stuff I bloody love white vinegar spray this is the star drops it's the one that I always get although I think they have repackaged it I haven't bought it in a while it used to be green and it's now like a purple color I love this stuff it's so good for cleaning do you know what? this is really good for cleaning tiles that are shiny so we've got porcelain tiles in the bathroom on the floor which i need to clean like i've been dying to deep clean them for ages and also really good for windows and glass and mirrors and it's actually very good for also i usually pour it down the sink with a little bit of the bicarb bicarbonate of soda along with like some zaflora and um, lemon juice or whatever and it just it does great things so i normally buy about six bottles of this but because i was carrying it all by hand today i just bought the two this was like 70p that's why i love this so much you could genuinely clean your house with just these two products you could like it wouldn't smell the best that's why i buy some other bits and pieces for things to smell nice but these two are match made in heaven bought some bleach 
Now, I don't know about you, but fancy bleach doesn't really do it for me. The cheap stuff, I think, works better. And I don't know if that's a bad thing. Like, I don't know if it's because it's like atomical bomb situation. But I just find that when I'm cleaning with bleach that is like 40p rather than a pound, it just cleans so much better. I then bought the pink stuff for white's oxy powder stain remover now i was looking at the um vanish the vanish and then there's another brand as well but i saw this and this was like half the price of the other ones and twice as big and i really like the pink stuff really like the pink stuff so i was like i will probably like this so i bought it just to keep the white whites white in the laundry the domestos um, I don't know what these are called. They're like toilet scent things. I bought three of these. We've got three toilets in the house. And I just thought it's a good way to keep a nice scent in the bathroom. I'm not going to lie. I don't get around to cleaning the bathrooms as much as I would love to. Um, especially like the guest one. Because just no one ever goes in there. But on the odd, odd occasion that someone does. These are an easy way to clean the toilet. Actually like kill bacteria. And um, have it smelling nice. Like I can smell these. They smell great. So I've got two of them in lime. Which I just love for a bathroom. Lemon and lime are my favourite scents for a bathroom but then I also felt like I was in a bit of a Christmassy mood so I picked up the limited edition winter sparkle with amber and spice gonna put it in the guest toilet because my guests deserve to feel like they're in winter wonderland when they come to my house so there we go then I got some cistern in cistern toilet blocks again just a good way to actually make sure that the toilet's getting cleaned every time it flushes through for this which is the sif cream winter sparkle it removes 100% of the toughest dirt I love sif sif again actually I'm gonna retract my statement earlier you know when I was saying white vinegar and bicarb soda add sif to that list the dream team um but yeah i got this one in the winter sparkle nothing special other than i'm assuming it smells nice i mean that kind of just smells like sif right now but once you clean up it probably smells really good i then got some of the dishmatic refills i got some green ones the typical ones that you see and i got some pink ones basically use the green ones to clean the dishes and then i'm going to use the pink ones for other jobs around the house i got a scrub daddy i don't think i've ever had a scrub daddy i really don't i don't think i've ever had a scrub daddy so i bought one i was i'm in an rn for so long i literally was looking at it i was picking it up i was putting it down i was picking it up i was putting it down and then i thought you know what just get it the reason i was picking it up and putting it down was because it was 250 and i know that sounds silly but by this point i realized i bought the whole shop's worth of cleaning supplies and i was like do you need a £2.50 sponge when i've been trying to clean the house recently i've noticed that i've been like cloths and sponges short and sometimes i need a sponge that feels like it's going to be quite abrasive i'll show you in case you've never seen one it feels like it's going to be quite abrasive it's thick it holds a lot of product i can really like get my elbow in and like really scrub and um yeah that's it really so that's great and then i've got some microfiber cloths because i need some i don't know where they go to they're a bit like socks does anyone else think that they're a bit like socks you put them in the wash they disappear you use them once they disappear got six for two pounds and they're cute they're like sage green colors pinks with like little flowers on and stuff and they feel good a bit of a, a like a fad thing uh, because it's halloween i'm not really decorating my house but i thought these were cute and they are a citrus scent you get 60 of the large wipes or they're the ones that you can rip in half so you can get like 120 small wipes whatever you want to use them like um, but they're the flash strong and thick wipes that look like this i was actually going to get some that were cheaper these ended up being either two pounds or two pound fifty they had some that were cheaper like one pound one pound fifty range and you actually got more but when i read the packet i realized that they weren't biodegradable whereas these ones are so you can recycle these with TerraCycle. and for something like wipes where i know you can't flush them down the toilet and even if you're putting them in into the bin you should be able to recycle stuff like this for something that's like a one one use thing like i'll use it to wipe down here and then the coffee table and stuff i'd like to be able to recycle it so i was willing in this scenario to pay the extra pound to make sure that it was recyclable i don't know if that makes sense to you guys but it does to me i feel like if we all start making an effort to and not that we all can but if we can in some scenarios make an effort to spend a little bit more money on things that are biodegradable and better for the planet still not great but better for the planet um it's baby steps you know it was all of my shopping i also then had to buy a jumbo bag from uh you because i'd literally bought the shop so that was one pound fifty it's actually quite cute do you know what as well i saw a tiktok the other day and this girl was like i don't know why we stay breaking our backs when we go shopping when we should just carry around like the nana trolleys like you know when you see a nana in the charity shop and she's got like a wheel around trolley usually got like a red blue and white crisscross pattern on it <laughs> 
so much information Charlotte. I saw that TikTok and I was like am I about to buy one am I about to buy one so I just put my phone down and went to bed because that could have been a decision that I might have regretted but I'm still thinking about it until now so maybe I won't regret it and scenarios like this it would have been very handy because honestly my fingers were like this holding the basket I was like please I need to get down walk into the till it was like the end of the aisle and I was like I'm not gonna make it I'm not gonna make it <laughs> Uh, whatever um with that being said guys and girls um i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you have a lovely week uh, morning afternoon evening or night whatever you're watching this if you're new to the channel go and watch some other videos and if you're not watch another one if you want to otherwise have a lovely day i'll speak to you soon guys bye Mwah.